This was the picture of a big bomber. Thousands of flying fortresses just such as this have blasted a high road through the air into Axis territory. Today, the B-17 can be called a medium bomber. The picture is changing. The B-17 makes way for the B-29, the super fortress, swifter with longer range and half again as big. Shaped like a long nose projectile itself, the B-29 is taking even bigger bomb loads to the enemy. Meeting the B-29 head on for the first time, you see a strong family resemblance to the B-17. But the B-29 is a mid-wing monoplane with four radial engines. It has a perfectly circular fuselage. And the long, slender wing sweeps outward with marked dihedral. The fin and rudder rises high above the fuselage in the rear. You begin to see the great proportions of the super fortress, the wingspan, the fuselage. And here they are again, fixed in the bright sun against the ground below. The very long lines of the tubular fuselage taper somewhat at the rear. The tapered wing shape is broken by the four projecting engines and is cut off at the tips. Much of the length of the fuselage goes into the long nose. Because the wing is set far back, the nose is about one-third the length of the fuselage. The tail plane, tapered on the leading edge, is wide with rounded tips. Take another look before the plane slides out from under. Tail, fuselage, wings, and nose. You can find all those features here again. This is the shape of the super fortress. Now let's look at it from the side. The long, almost unbroken lines of the streamlined fuselage faring into the big fin and rudder are impossible to confuse with the lines of any other plane. Its streamlined length spells B-29. As it falls again into a reeling angle, let's go over it together. There's the long nose and the wing plan tapered on the leading edge straight along the trailing edge, cut off at the tips. And, of course, the long fuselage and big fin and rudder visible at almost any angle. Working around to the rear, we see the circular fuselage again. The high fin and rudder, tall, straight-lined, the wide, straight tail plane, and the long dihedral of the wing. Now watch all these features become one shape as the B-29 flies for you, as the Super Fortress slowly comes to be familiar. Mark this important in your memory. its most simple profile is the super fortress, long and streamlined with big fin and rudder, characteristics distinguishable at any distance, and turned around and coming in again for a final check, long tapered wing and long projecting nose as part of the long fuselage. That's it. That's the B-29. Next time you see it, it may be trundling down a runway, carrying a full load of fuel, of bombs, gathering speed, gathering momentum, 50 tons of airplane, 
lifting into the wind, taking off for target Tokyo. A super bomber, the Super Fortress, the B-29.